Well, do you ever think or even know how much vitamin D you're getting? My next guest says it is critically important that you do because your good health could depend on it. Dr. Lucinda Messer has written this book. It's called Powerful Medicine Vitamin D. Dr. Messer joins us this morning as part of our book author series. Good morning to you. Good morning to you, Danielle. I have to tell you, I don't think a lot of people even think about how much vitamin D they're getting, but how important is it? It's critically important. It's actually one of the most important supplements you could ever take. Uh, vitamin D actually turns into one of the most powerful hormones in your body, which actually uh, unleashes, unlocks, acts as a key to unlock many binding sites on genes to help control most diseases. Oh, wow. But yet you say there's a vitamin D defici deficiency worldwide. It, that's very true. Um, mostly because of sunscreen. I think in the industrialized nations, when we are out in the sun, we're worried about aging and we slap their sunscreen on our young, we slather it on ourselves, and not allowing the first, you know, several minutes to at least get some UVB rays in. The rest of the world, Saudi Arabia and people in India, clothed to protect themselves from the sun's heat and mm -hmm. such. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the elderly stay in their homes and don't get enough vitamin D. And young people, like young little kids, are mostly stay inside as well. So there's it's epidemic, unfortunately. Interesting. And so what are some of the, I guess, misconceptions then about how much vitamin D we should be getting? Yeah, there are several out there. It's one of the reasons I wrote the book to uh, clear up those misconceptions. Okay. A big one is people think that taking a thousand units per day is just fine. Well, if you're a healthy adult, the research shows that you need upwards of 5,000 units 5, a day. 5,000? Yes. And uh, another misconception is toxicity. People think that if they take too much, since it is an oil-soluble supplement, mm -hmm. that it can actually harm them. Oil-soluble supplements can accumulate, but it takes an awful lot. And most people are so extremely low on their levels that they're really careful not to take too much. Therefore, they never get to an optimal level. Another uh, reason is because a lot of healthcare practitioners out there that aren't versed in the research will tell their patients that if they're at 30 or 40, they're just fine not to do anything about it. So there are mm. lots of misconceptions. All right, so then let's go ahead and spell it out for our viewers. How much vitamin D should we be getting and can I get all the vitamin D I need from like drinking milk or something like okay. that? So, um, it's very important to know that you should start out with a baseline blood test. A baseline blood test from your physician, hopefully insurance will pay for it, will show you the levels that you're at. Mm -hmm. And if your physician's knowledgeable about what levels you should be at, they should be able to, to help you uh, achieve your optimal levels. And then every three months, change of season, get that blood test done again. Now for people who don't have insurance, another way to go about this is to get a finger prick test. Or for the little guys at home, you could do a little finger stick test test and send it into the lab and the lab will give you back the results and if you don't have a healthcare practitioner you can use my book as a guide you can call our office and we'll explain to you what amount of vitamin D you need you know what I think is interesting about what you just said how many people would know before this interview to ask their doctor for a vitamin D test probably not very many Right. Well, I actually, um, it's done almost automatically anymore because people know, MDs know that they really should be checking mm -hmm. most everybody's vitamin D level, especially if they're more prone, if they have osteoporosis and such. Getting back to dosages, uh, as a generally speaking, a thousand units per 25 pounds of body weight per day is what what the new research shows. If you're an adult, healthy adult, the dose is currently about 5,000 units per day. And if you're sickly or if you have a chronic disease like cancer, then you want to have a, a practitioner that can guide you because you'll need more, between five and 10,000 normally. Between five and 10,000. Yes. What are some good sources? Good sources. Um, the best source is sunshine because sunshine, you only really need 15 to 20 minutes if you have Caucasian skin, and if you're down in Florida, it doesn't take long. If you live up in Seattle, like myself, you'll need uh, quite a bit more. The problem with different latitudes in the country, if you live above the 32nd latitude, I think that's about Sacramento level and above, mm -hmm. you're only getting your vitamin D uh, summer about 10 to 12 weeks per year. So you need to be out during that time, midday, without sunscreen in order to get that. And so with just about 30 seconds left, I, I, I really want to get to, to, to the takeaway here because this is something that obviously you're very passionate about. What do you want people to take away from this conversation and from the book? I want people to understand that in normal conditions, if you go out into the sun, 
when you have the sun available, the human skin is actually able to absorb up, upwards of 20,000 units in a matter of 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the right conditions. Mm -hmm. Whereas the government's, the new RDA has been set to 600 units. So I just want to want to have people understand that. Um, and the other part is that my book as acting, I wrote the book to act as a guide to help people achieve optimal health with addressing their particular conditions, knowing drug nutrient interactions, understanding what dosage they need for their body, uh, all these little things that aren't uh, addressed normally. Absolutely. Well, Dr. Uh, Messer, thank you so much for coming by and sharing thank this information with me. us on the show today. Appreciate it. And again, the book is called Powerful Medicine Vitamin D. For more information on the book or Dr. Messer, please visit the website powerfulmedicine-vitd.com.